another method that can be utilized in uh, economics, economic engineering study is the future work. So, the future work can be utilized if the asset, it can be an equipment, a building, uh, might be sold or traded at some time before the expected life is reached. Uh, this is uh, taking into account the best uh, way uh, to maximize the profit that can be generated during the com commercialization of the asset or the equipment. Uh, the future value is important to investors as they use it to estimate uh, how much an investment can be made today and uh, what will be the future worth of that investment. Uh, knowing the future value enables the invest investors to make sound investment decisions based on their anticipated needs. Uh, some of the basic formula that uh, are used in uh, future worth analysis or future worth method is the first formula is for a single payment. So we have the initial, we have the uh, present word. Uh, determining the future word will be P multiplied by this uh, factor, 1 plus I raised to N. When you have a series of payment to speed up the calculation of the future word, you can use the, this formula. Uh, let's apply these formulas or uh, let's conduct a future work analysis <coughs> in this example. So an industrial engineer is considering two robots for the purchase of a uh, purchase by a fiber optic manufacturing company. Robot X will have a first cost of 4,320,000 and annual maintenance and operation cost of 1,620,000. And uh, two million one hundred sixty salvage value. Now we have another uh, alternative. We have the robot Y. We have the first cost of five million two hundred thirty-eight thousand, with a man, uh, maintenance and operation cost of one million four hundred fifty-eight, and the salvage value of two million seven hundred thousand, uh, which should be selected on the basis of future work compa comparison at an interest rate of 15% per year. So we're going to use this 3-year stu study period. So both of uh, these alternative have common lifespan, which is 3 years. Okay, uh, let's draw the uh, cash flow diagram for robot X and robot Y. At their initial, uh, at the initial year, or 2 years equal to 0, the first cost, initial cost of robot X is 4 million. Uh, take note, uh, the cash flow is downward to indicate that it is actually an expenses. Uh, you have also 5 million for robot Y. And then the uh, op maintenance and operating cost for robot X is 1 million. That is uh, for 3 years. And then uh, 1 million 458 for robot Y. And at the end of their uh, digital service life, robot X will have salvage value of 2 million 160. And uh, robot Y will have a service uh, salvage value of 2 million 700. Okay, so these are the important formulas we're going to use. Uh, we have the single payment and recurring payment. Both of these formula is used to determine the future worth of uh, the future worth of the current uh, money. Okay, for robot X, we have the future worth. We have the single payment okay, for the 4,310,000. We have the recurring payment, which is 1,620,000. And then, of course, plus the salvage value. This 2,160,000 don't need any formulas because it's already 
the future world because that is actually at year 3. So, you don't need to convert that to future world because that is already that future value at year 3. Unlike for the initial cost because that is at year 0. So, you need to uh, convert this one or this, uh, yes, convert this one at year 3 using a discount rate of 15%. Okay, future work. Okay, substitute uh, P here for the initial cost 4 million. Okay, 4 million 320, 1 plus 0.15 raised to 3. And then minus 1 million 620, 1, point, uh, 1 plus 0.15 raised to 3 minus 1 over 0.15. And then plus 2 million 160,000. Okay, let's individually compute uh, the values. Let's start with this one, 4 million, the future worth of 4 million, 320. <coughs> future worth of three, uh, 4 million, 320 will be, at the end of 3 years, it will be 6,570,180. For the recurring payment, it will be 5,625,450. And the salvage value is let uh, yun paren. Okay, so just add these values. Of course, considering design convention, so the future worth of all these cash flows for robot X will be ten million thirty-five thousand six hundred thirty. So the cost of using uh, robot X uh, for this industrial engineer will cost him ten million thirty-five thousand six hundred thirty. For the robot Y, we have the initial cost, the recurring payment, and of course the future uh, amount, which is the salvage value for robot Y. Okay, for the future word, let's uh, substitute this one, these values in our formula. Uh, 5,238,238,000,238,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000
And then, pag expenses naman yung lalabas, piliin mo yung alternative na magbibigay sa'yo ng mas maliit na babayaran. So, ganun ang, uh, ang uh, mga basic engineering economic analysis. So, uh, for number one, what will be our preference? Robot X or Robot Y? So, it will be the Robot X. So, we're going to choose Robot X for this project. 